So this sister by the name of Anastasia Boone Talton, she was a senior talent acquisition specialist who was working at Facebook. Now she ended up, she's not that in that position anymore. She has filed a $100 million lawsuit against the social media giant for alleging that she was discriminated against based on her race and disability. So it says that, um, filed on March 17th in California, San Mateo superior court. She's suing her former employer for discrimination, and harassment, failure to accommodate her disability, retaliation, wrongful termination and breach of contract. And she's also requesting a jury trial. Now I got a short clip with her lawyer and she's sitting there. Let's roll that short clip. Fact in 2015 in the very same courthouse where Ms. Boone Towson seeks justice, Chia Hong also filed a lawsuit in which she alleged the exact same culture of sexism, racism, uh, a lack of inclusion, and a good old boys club. The case will be styled Towson versus Facebook, and it will be filed in the San Mateo County Superior Court. Now, the lawyer has stated that Facebook talks a good game about diversity, but in reality, it's just lip service. It says that they will simply Facebook fly out a candidate just to make a quota of saying that they interviewed at least one diverse candidate, but nine times out of 10, that person was not hired. Oh, okay. So basically they playing the affirmative action game, but they did not even, even follow those rules. Right? So it says that when the sister complained to Facebook about what she was seeing, the company began treating her differently. You know, that happens to a lot of black people on jobs is that you see racism going on. You see discrimination going on. You go tell you the person that's supposed to be your supervisor supposed to be against that. And then now all of a sudden you're the problem because you, you have to remember with a white supremacist system, those who call out racism, they're the problem, not the racist. You're the problem. Always remember that. But they say that well, she was left out of company events. She also alleged that she was told that she was not culturally fit when she asked for medical accommodations to help support her medical issues. Now, you know, good and well, you can't discriminate against disability on top of race. That is a big lawsuit. So they say when Ms. Boone Towson complained to the management, she was shunned. She was kept out of diversity planning meetings. She wasn't given her Facebook anniversary balloon and say she was kept away from extracurricular activities that other employers was able to do. It say such as go to happy hours and outings as a team. It said the last straw for the sister was when she watched a male coworker uh, was hired at the same time she was be given preferential treatment and climb the managerial ladder while Facebook failed to promote her. She said she was doing the same work, but earning less money. That sounds about right. So the sister herself had made a video and I want to play a clip of that. So you can hear from her self what, what she is suing Facebook for. Um, but let's hear from that sister. A lot of you know, and a lot of you don't know, um, I have been off work now since August of last year. Um, so I have not been working at Facebook since August of last year. I have been off. Um, and that is really what this live is about. At this time, as of last week, Friday, um, I have filed a suit against Facebook. Thank you. I have filed a suit against Facebook um, for various um, obstructions, right? So I have eight different areas where I'm suing Facebook for. Um, one of them is discrimination and harassment based upon a disability in violation of the Fair Employment and Housing Act. The second is failure to accommodate disability in violation of the Fair Employment and Housing Act. Um, third, failure to engage in interactive business four, retaliation, five, wrongful termination and violation of public policy, six, breach of contract, number seven, unfair business practices, and number eight, violation of Equal Pay Act. I have filed this lawsuit in the Superior Court of California. There will be a um, court date schedule. Was, there has already been a court date scheduled for July 29th of this year at 9 o'clock a.m. Right now, I am suing Facebook for $100 million. That sum is for the loss of my mental health, anguish, um, and again, all of those violations, what I listed. This has been a long journey, and it's been a long journey in trying to get justice and trying to 
have Facebook at least understand what they're doing, right? Um, so that is what this video is about. Now, as you heard her state, you know, what she's been through at Facebook and why she's suing. Now, of course, Facebook respondents say they don't tolerate discrimination of any kind and they definitely want a diverse, um, you know, employment, you know, base there. But back in, uh, 2015, Facebook came under scrutiny, um, for its culture. Okay. So they say a gender and discrimination and racial discrimination was filed by a Chia Hong, um, in 2015, but she eventually settled and employees are detailed racist incidents of minorities being sabotaged in a open letter. And I've been hearing this for a while that there is a, um, racist culture within Facebook. We have heard that. And I remember, you know, Jesse Jackson, you know, when he was start speaking up not too long ago about how black people are shut out of Silicon Valley, that they don't want to hire black people. Not to say that black people don't have the education or can't do the job, but when you hire a sister like this, and then you just basically getting her to get people in just so you can feel a diversity quota, you know what I'm saying? And don't even give them a job. It's like, oh yeah, well, at least, Hey, I interviewed an African American, you know, but sorry. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Rona's changing a whole lot of things nowadays. And a lot of people, um, you know, including Facebook could start losing money. You know, when you keep that kind of culture that Mark Zuckerberg needs to get his act together with his company, whoever's running it like that, because you know what? At one point in time, my space, was the number one social media website. And then it was gone. Now MySpace is still available, but who's on MySpace today? I don't hear nobody saying, Hey, yeah, go to my MySpace. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Facebook can go the same way. Matter of fact, the kids, the only reason Facebook as a company is still doing great. I would say is because of Instagram. I will say that. And WhatsApp, WhatsApp is huge. That was a huge acquisition for them. Well, uh, WhatsApp. Because true, that connects everybody to the world's WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, you know, I mean, yes, you know, we are on Facebook as well. Cause I remember on our survey, somebody was saying, I didn't know you, you guys had a Facebook. If you go down below in that pinned comment and actually take the time to scroll, I have provided all the links for our social media. I provide everything you need to know, uh, trips, uh, that we are planning as we worked on right now to the African continent, everything we have right there, you can just click it. You ain't got to go search for nothing. You can just click everything you want to see for yourself. Um, our Instagram page, our Twitter. I mean, everybody should come join our social media page because we post a bunch of things. Sometimes I make custom videos at times, uh, for our Instagram that I don't make somewhere else on the YouTube stories. I'm doing videos on my YouTube stories now since I figured out how to way to, to make the videos kind of keep running. So I'm, so we, we constantly doing something. So you need to make sure to join us everywhere. Twitter, we are going in on Twitter. So join us everywhere. All you gotta do is go below and just scroll down. I put, I pinned it to the top. You ain't got to search for anything and just hit that little thing, hit the drop down and just start pressing buttons. And there you go. But let us know what you think about this particular story with this sister. But Hey, you know what? That's okay. Because what's going on right now in this country with Rona, these people losing a lot of money right now. See, see that, that being, you know, racist and all that, that's got only last so long. And I'm telling you, Rona going to set a lot of things straight more than what you think in this country.